we're going to explain how to decrypt an SD card that was encrypted on another phone. This can be tricky, as the decryption method depends entirely on how the encryption was originally applied. There's no single universal solution. Let's break down the possibilities and what you need to try. 1. Identify the encryption method. The first and often most crucial step is figuring out what kind of encryption was used. Was it built into the Android operating system? Android's built-in encryption? A third-party app like BitLocker, though less common on SD cards? Or something else? Unfortunately, there's usually no obvious indicator on the SD card itself. Check the phone's settings or any documentation you have from when it was encrypted. If you used a specific app, the name of that app will be essential. 2. Using the original phone. Ideal scenario. If you still have the phone that originally encrypted the SD card, this is the easiest path. Simply insert the SD card into that phone. The phone's operating system should automatically recognize the card and prompt you for the decryption password or PIN. Follow the on-screen instructions. 3. Using the same Android version and encryption app, if possible. If you don't have the original phone, try using a phone with the same or very similar Android version and the same encryption app, if one was used. Install the app, if necessary, on the new phone. Insert the SD card and attempt decryption using the app's interface. Success here is highly dependent on compatibility. 4. Trying different passwords. Pins. This might sound obvious, but methodically try all passwords or pins you might have used. Include variations like capitalization changes or the addition of special characters. Start with the most likely options first. 5. Data recovery software. Last resort. If all else fails, data recovery software might be able to help, but this is not guaranteed, and often has a very low success rate with encrypted drives. These programs attempt to bypass the encryption, but success depends on several factors, including the strength of the encryption and the state of the data on the card. Be aware that this is often a paid service and there's no promise of recovering your data. Many free options will likely not be capable of the required level of data recovery. Six, acceptance of data loss. If none of the above steps work, you may sadly have to accept that the data on the SD card is likely lost. The encryption was implemented to protect the data and some encryption methods are very difficult if not impossible to crack without the key. Remember to always be cautious when dealing with data recovery software. Ensure you download it from a reputable source to avoid malware. If you're uncertain about any step, seek professional assistance from a data recovery specialist.